YouTube, what's going on? It is Tuesday. We're gonna try this again. I tried to I tried to vlog yesterday because it was Monday, but there wasn't shit going on that would have been entertaining for y'all. So, take two. Head into the gym right now. Uh, I gotta train my client Patricia in about 15 minutes. Then I got a boot camp class I teach after that, and then gonna do some work with Rob and Jason. We gotta finish up our launch for September. All the new designs, all the new hats, uh, shirts, whatnot. So we got all that taken care of. Uh, then I got another client later this afternoon. And then tonight um, is team training. We got the powerlifting team, Team Gunsmith. We're all gonna lift together tonight. And so that's gonna be tonight. So it's gonna be kind of fun. Dude, how about Game of Thrones on Sunday? What the fuck, man? That was crazy. It's a good season. It's a, it's a good start to the season. I'm pretty stoked. I hate that you have to wait a fucking year, though. Why do you have to wait a year? Come on, man. Like, it gets to the point where, like, the next season starts, and I kind of forgot a little bit. Like, I forgot all, like, the minor details. Like, I know the grand scheme of things, but I forgot the minor details leading up to the season. So... I like have to go back and watch some. It's like time. I don't have time for all that. Like I can't go back and watch the whole season. I gotta watch like I can watch maybe like an episode. The worst thing about it though is it's like six. It's only gonna be like six episodes. I think is what they were saying. So wait a year for it, and then six weeks later, boom, you gotta wait another fucking year. It's insane. Anyway, head into the gym. I'll check in with y'all. Chest up. Sit back, chest up. Yeah, pull your chest up, Patricia. Chest up. Sit back, chest up. No. So just got done. Just got done training Patricia in my boot camp class. I'm going to show you kind of what we, we did today. Um, I didn't get a chance to film anything because it's working, yo. But, so this is an idea of what our programming was today. Pardon my shitty handwriting. It's hard to write on this little board. But, so Patricia, we had max effort dead legs today. So she did max effort safety squat bar for a one rep. Then seated deadlift, four sets of eight, and then back extension set of 40. So she had to do a shorter workout today because she has to go PT and do all her recovery stuff today. So her max effort day is a little shorter. Um, so we just mainly get the main movement in and then one or two, two accessory movements. Um, and she got some volume in working up to the safety squat bar one rep. She's about four weeks out from Lake Tahoe Classic. So um, we're trying to keep her volume in check and not, not blow her out of the water because she's kind of dealing with a few little nagging injuries that are a result of recovery. So you got to recover if you're going to train hard. And if you don't recover, um, it really... Recovery is almost more recovery is more important than the work you put in in the gym honestly because if you can't if you can't recover from a workout you can't expect to progress okay because if you're sore from one workout into the next that's it's going to diminish your performance and also it's going to open you up for injuries and so if you're not recovering well you're going to hurt yourself so her her workout today was a little bit shorter we also did some box jumps i didn't put that on there uh, but we just worked up on box jumps about four or five sets of three um, but yeah and then my class my boot camp class we're trying out some interval weight training um, and so i'll show you that before we did any of this though we went over technique for hand clean so we did hand cleans set of 10 then oh shit hey, one minute on the assault bike Balls out, three rounds of that, then we rest five minutes and we do back squat with rower for two minutes. That doesn't seem like much, but really if you're doing it correctly, the sets of 10 should be difficult. Um, they shouldn't be like you're just cruising. They should be about RP like eight probably. Should be pretty taxed at the end of those 10. And then your balls out on the cardio. And so uh, that will kick your ass. So just those two, two movements will kick your ass. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Pat O'Shea is kind of the creator of the interval interval weight training. And so we're kind of playing around with it a little bit. Probably adapt it a little bit more towards 
our style here, um, but playing around with it and seeing how it goes. And it's difficult. I highly recommend you guys check it out, um, look it up. Yeah. Finally got it set up, bolted into the wall, to the ground. About to have some fun with that. All the rollers, salt bikes. It's starting to come together. We just need a little bit more flooring. Stuff on the walls. Fucking vlogging. What, that's, what do you think I'm doing? Vlogging right now. Is it live right now? I was vlogging earlier too. Why? Rob is over there designing. Is this recording right now? I'm relaxing. We just got done hanging some cork board shit on the wall. We're not done yet though. Got to go get some more to fill in that area and then that little crack right there. Crack is whack. What else did we do today? We got the ski erg set up, set up some more storage. You show them this? Yeah. Just been hanging out, doing some work around here, finishing up all the launch stuff over there. That's what Rob's doing. And yeah, I'm going to work out in a few hours. Well, I gotta eat soon. Exciting shit. So Rob and I are, are gonna go try to put this booth set up together. Uh, about the expo. Yeah, we're going to San Jose. Two weekends. 29th. Next week. Not this weekend. Two weekends. It's the week. Two weeks. Week. It's two weekends. Next week we leave though. Two weekends though. Okay. Not this weekend. Soon. The following weekend. <laughs> 29th. We're gonna be down there. Having a booth, come check us out. I forget what booth number we're at, but I'll let y'all know social media wise. Yeah, so. So we're gonna try to put this together. Watch us fail miserably. You watch your mouth when you talk about Terrell Suggs, bro. He's already blocked out everything. T Sizzle. He's already blocked out everything, so I don't know. Terrell Suggs is blocked, Rob, because he's a troll. He's my favorite player. He blocked what? Rob because what? Rob trolled him. I didn't troll. I honestly got it. He blocked me on Instagram and Facebook. Like Facebook. Like he, that means he typed it by Facebook. <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't like make sense. But yeah, I blocked. I can't comment. I can't do shit. Call my favorite player's page. I don't know. He doesn't like you, bro. Rob and I are about to get a little lift in. I think Paul and his girlfriend Amanda are coming through. Let's see how this goes. So I've been using this Devastate Crimson from Inspired Nutra. Uh, Sherry got it for me to try because she uses all their stuff. And so she got this one. It's a little stronger. It's Strawberry Splash. It's pretty good. Been using it for about a month. Doesn't get me too jittery. Oh, it's like an awkward amount. Do I save the half scoop and use the full scoop? That's a good question. Hmm. Thinking what I'll do is I'll save the half scoop. Or I'll split it. I'll do three quarters of a scoop on each. It's about three quarters of a scoop. So I'll save that for tomorrow. A dynamic upper today. So I think it's doing football bar against bands, and then I think I'm doing an eight rep competition max, and then some back stuff. So, try that. I'll probably play around with the ski erg a little bit too. Put that to work. Paul and Amanda showed up. Rob's over there bullshitting. Rob's over here bullshitting. Gotta grab my intro workout. Old school Gatorade. So we got football bar bench. Six sets of three. 50% on the bar. And then 25% on the bands. And so I'm hooking up the bands. 
Somebody's gonna be like, how the fuck do you know how much tension on the bands, James? Pro tip, it's a luggage scale. Put that on the band, tells you how many pounds of resistance. So I need 45 on each side. Let's see this. Perfect. 46 pounds, I'll do it. So this is roughly 135, it's, I think it's actually 133 plus 90 pounds of tension. So this is actually 223, 223 right now. I'm gonna add an additional 20 pounds on each side after I do this next set. Starting some triples. Six sets of triples, and that is 175 with the fake weights, plus 90 pounds, so it's about 265. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I've been changing, changing grips every set, so you can see multi-grip has three different grips. I'm changing grips every single set, just to get a different feel, all right? So that one I did the widest grip, and it was definitely a little tougher. Correction, the middle one is fucking awful. That's the worst one so far. Which means it works. Yeah, which means I need that. Which means my triceps are dog shit. So now we're, so now we're gonna work up to an eight rep max conventional touch and go. Um, we'll see where it goes. Try to set a PR today. The last time I got 275 for eight, so we're gonna try to beat that. And then I did 285 for seven, so try to get at least 290, we'll say. 295, I bet. Your movie will put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now. I'm a ghost, I call your name, you look right through me. Ugly, ugly ass PR of 285. Um, got a little out of position on rep number eight. I'm gonna jump up 295. Just try to get as many reps as I can, see where we're at. Uh, pecs feeling all right. Could feel better, but I'll push it a little bit. We'll see. So 285, 295 for six. Probably could have got eight if I hadn't have gone to 85 for eight before. So either way, it's a PR. So I'll take it. Easy. There you go. Drive up. Nice. One more. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Heavy ass sled pulls. Fucking heck.
what's up y'all so it is like 12 15 uh, my phone died at the gym so I didn't get the chance to finish filming the workout um, but did some trap bar shrugs some face pulls and some rear delt stuff got home showered ate some food watched Grey's Anatomy with my girlfriend because we started watching that or she started watching that and I kind of got into it, as embarrassing as that is. So, don't judge me, I'm kind of into it. Although Gray is kind of annoying, like, I don't really like her. I'm up super late because I was kind of behind on my meals, so I was catching up. So I just had eight ounces of chicken, I'm gonna have a couple of spoonfuls of peanut butter, and then I'm gonna take my shake. So I, I drink, I've been drinking this at night. Snack, nutrition, ZMA nightcap. I had it a couple years ago. Uh, they sent me a couple samples of it. It was really good, and I've had some trouble sleeping lately, so I um, figured I'd give it another go. So I bought this. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's a good product, and the flavor is amazing. It's apple berry. It tastes just like apple juice. It's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have all that. Go to bed. Wake up in the morning. Do it all over again. Appreciate you all for watching. Check out gunsmithclothing.com. We still got our wrist wraps, and we still got like limited quantities of some stuff on there. Um, new stuff is coming though soon. Stay tuned. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.